I'm Dr. David Golden, Fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, and Associate Professor of Medicine at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. I'd like to discuss insect sting allergy. Allergic reactions to insect stings can be local or systemic. Local reactions means local around the area of the sting. Systemic means it goes through your system and reacts other areas of the body not directly connected to the sting. So if you get stung on your arm and your arm swells and the next day it's swollen up to your shoulder, that's a very big local reaction, but it's a local reaction. If you get stung on your hand and 15 minutes later your tongue swells or your throat swells or your face swells, that's a systemic reaction. Uh, systemic reactions are the only ones that are really potentially dangerous. Local reactions can be scary and can be very large, but are not a medical emergency. It's good to tell your doctor. It's good to seek the right advice and the expert advice because you, people may hear that the next reaction is going to kill you. People may hear, oh, don't worry about it. You'll outgrow it. Um, many times these systemic allergic reactions, and maybe I should clarify that we're uh, really talking mainly about anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a multi-system uh, general body allergic reaction to something that can be life-threatening, dangerous, or even fatal. Uh, so systemic allergic reactions, uh, including anaphylactic reactions, often happen after many uneventful stings. People say, I don't believe it. I got stung many times with no problem, and why do I have a reaction now? The answer is we don't know. But it often happens that way. And in fact, having had many stings in the past often increases the chances that one day someone might be allergic to it. But that's totally unpredictable. The problem is it wasn't the fluke. And that's the other thing people will often think or be told is that, oh, after so many not having reactions to stings, then surely this was a fluke and won't happen again. Unfortunately, that's not true. Once you have a systemic anaphylactic allergic reaction to a sting, the next thing almost certainly will cause another reaction, and it can be just as bad or sometimes even worse as the last reaction. So it's really important to know that these reactions can be totally prevented, usually cured, and it just involves finding the right allergist to give you the right advice. But on the other hand, not overreacting. So people get very large swellings or sometimes even relatively mild systemic reactions like breaking out in hives, but no trouble breathing, no dizziness or passing out, and not everyone needs to have the most uh, effective treatment. There is an immunization. Venom immunotherapy is like allergy shots with the venoms of these insects. And we'll come back to that because that's the best way of preventing these reactions if you've already had one. But first, you have to actually get the right diagnosis of the problem and see what the best treatment is. How much should you worry or how much should you not worry about the problem? And in the meantime, it's really important to know what to do if there is a reaction, if there is a large swelling. Uh, that's something that might need treatment, but usually it's just a matter of making you feel better until it goes away. If it tends to be really big, then the doctor can prescribe a few days of prednisone steroid medicine to help clear it up. Someone who has that kind of reaction often, if you're a landscaper and this happens every year, then it may be a good idea to be immunized so that you won't have such bad reactions. But it's the life-threatening or possibly life-threatening anaphylactic reactions that are very important to prevent. If you've ever had one, there's just no reason to have another one because we have such an effective treatment, and that's the immunization, venom immunotherapy. Systemic re reactions and anaphylactic reactions, again, are typically going to include hives, itchy welts and uh, puffy welts all over your body. It can include swelling, like face swelling of the face or tongue or throat. It can include uh, a drop in blood pressure uh, that's called anaphylactic shock, and it means uh, feeling dizzy or lightheaded or, in fact, passing out and being unconscious, and obviously that is potentially dangerous. Those are the typical features of anaphylaxis, the skin, the breathing, or the dizziness. It can be any one or more of those things. It doesn't have to be all of them, and it just means that your body is reacting all over to a sting and that it can be dangerous and needs to be treated in initially. The treatment for that kind of reaction is an injection of epinephrine. Epinephrine injectors can be prescribed if you know you might have that kind of reaction, but you don't know that the first time you react. So any kind of anaphylactic reaction of food or a drug or an insect sting, the only treatment that can clear it up 
fast is an injection of epinephrine. Then we have to prevent you from ever having the reaction again. And that's where it involves seeing the allergist. The allergist will take a really good detailed history about the reaction and where you were and what kind of thing it might have been and what kind of treatment you had and how that worked out. And then may do tests, allergy skin tests or blood tests to uh, make it clear which kind of insect thing you might be allergic to and to confirm that you have the allergy or still have the allergy because your reaction could have been 10 or 20 years ago and you could still have the allergy in your system. If you do, then the doctor may recommend the immunization or may discuss with you why you do or don't need to be immunized. And venom immunotherapy is like any other kind of allergy shots, meaning is you could get allergy shots for grass or cat or insect stings. And amazingly, these allergy shots are just as safe and even more effective than any other kind of allergy shot. So despite how bad the reactions are to the stings, it's very uncommon to have a bad reaction. It can happen to any allergy shots, but it's really not very common with venom immunotherapy. The immunity is 98%. We almost never hear of someone having any systemic reaction, not even one or two highs, once they're on venom immunotherapy. The protection can be built up in weeks, a few weeks, or even faster if necessary. In the military, they do this routinely, and in many other countries, routinely, in two to three days, and your allergist may do it that way as well, because it's a very fast way and a very effective way and a very safe way of building up your immunity so that if you get stung, there should be nothing abnormal that happens other than some normal itching and swelling. And then you have to continue immunotherapy for several years, four or five years, to make that immunity stick, to make it uh, permanent, so that when you stop, you're done. You're, there's near zero chance of having a dangerous reaction to a sting after you complete a course of venom immunotherapy. So that's a remarkable treatment, which is why we would like everyone who's ever had a severe reaction to be checked and to know that they can be treated and be cured safely and effectively. So if you've had any suspected allergic reaction to a sting, get the right information, tell your doctor about it, see an allergist, see if you need to have a prescription for an epinephrine injector to treat future reactions, and see if you should maybe be immunized to protect you and to cure the allergy. And get the best information you can, like from the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Thank you.